Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about whether the Detroit Pistons are going to make the playoffs this year or not. And before we get into that, make sure that you are subscribed and that you turn on my notifications. Also, drop a like. That would be great, but let's get into it. So when I make a prediction like this, if you guys haven't watched uh, my other predicting videos, I don't say whether they're yes, 100% going to make it or no, they're 100% not going to make it because anything can happen. And so basically when I make videos like this, I just give my opinions on what they need to do to make it. So ever since they acquired Blake Griffin, which is now about a month and a half ago, they started out really well with them, went 4-0, they were playing well, and they were looking really good. And then suddenly they started to lose a few games and kind of get back to that old slump that they were before they acquired Blake Griffin. And they're not in a horrible spot right now, they're, they're pretty close to being 8th. But what they need to do is that they're battling against the Heat right now for that spot. And what they're going to need to do is that I think that they need to find the right players on the team, the right groups of players to play on the floor. Because some combinations might not fit, they might turn the ball over. I think if the Pistons can find the right groups, they can be a decent team. Because if you guys remember, for the first month or month and a half of the season, they were fourth. In the, uh, in the Eastern Conference. They were fourth, they were doing well, and then they suddenly got on a humongous losing streak. Everything went downhill. And now they, they need to take advantage of Blake Griffin because Blake Griffin, he's a very talented player, former All-Star. He can play extremely well, but I think that if they put all the pressure on him, he's not going to be able to play well because he is not the best three-point shooter. And in the recent games, he's been taking about 10 threes a game. And that is not at all Blake Griffin's game. He's more inside the paint, dunking, and mid-range. And also, of course, the defense. But this year, he's taking more threes than he ever has in his career. He started doing that with the Clippers since CP3 left. And now he's carried it on. Uh, with the Pistons, and I think that it's okay for Blake Griffin to take a few threes here and there, but if he's consistent, uh, cons consistently taking them, then he's going to start missing a ton, and that's going to that's gonna be a problem for the Pistons. So as of right now, this day that I'm making the video, there are one and a half games behind of the Heat, and they ended the first half having won six of their last ten games. So decent. And as I said, they've been playing better with Blake Griffin. But I think this team has even more potential if they can find the right groups of players um, to play on the floor. And uh, it's true they did trade away Tobias Harris, who uh, was one of their better three-point shooters. But... I think that they could take advantage and show that they got the better end of the trade because Blake Griffin, he's a veteran, he's talented, he's made it to the playoffs before. So that's my opinion on the Detroit Pistons. And um, for the Heat, if they can find a way to play like they were just a couple of weeks before they got into a little slump, I think they should be looking good as well. But we'll see. That's what the Pistons have to do, in my opinion. And uh, I also want you guys to comment down below your opinions on the Detroit Pistons. And I want you guys to let me know if you guys think that they're going to make it to the playoffs or not. Also, subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.